On day one, I spawned in the Valley of the End. Whoa, this looks amazing. Wait, why is there an angry teenager chasing me? And why am I running like this? It looks like I won't be able to outrun him. Let's see what you're made of, you edge- Ooh. Give up on chasing after me, Naruto. I woke up on day two in a house. That's strange. How did I get here? Ah, young Shinobi, you're awake. Could you bring me here? What happened to the angry looking teenager? The angry looking teenager? I didn't see anyone like that. I was out looking for my lost fox when I found you. Ah, your lost fox. Maybe I can help you find him. The villager pointed me in the right direction and I set off to find his lost pet. After a bit of running around, I found the fox. Hey little guy, your owner's worried sick. Come with me, let's get you back home. We returned to the village during the night and it was under attack by a horde of sound ninjas. We were surrounded. I tried to fight back, but there were just too many of them and I wasn't strong enough. Get back! Me and the fox ran until we lost them. We found a cave and we decided to stay there for the night. The next morning, our stomachs were rumbling. Oh, I'm so hungry. You wait here, little guy. I'll go and find us some food. I left the cave and collected some wood. I used it to make myself a wooden pickaxe, axe, and sword. I wandered around the forest for a while until I eventually found some berries. I better get these back to my new friend. He must be starving. I returned to the cave to find my new friend being attacked by a sound ninja. Using my wooden sword, I was able to save the fox and defeat my first sound ninja. Are you okay, little guy? Let's get out of here and find somewhere safe we can call home. On days four to seven, we traveled far and wide until we eventually found a nice location for our new home. Before I could start building, I needed to collect some resources. I mined some cobblestone and then upgraded my wooden tools to stone ones. I chopped down some trees and then I got some food from sheep and pigs. Resource gathering is hungry work. After a quick snack, I mined some cobblestone and a site and then dug up some sand. I had all the materials I needed to start making my fancy ninja home. I need to make sure my base is fit for the future Hokage. Before I finished off my house, I decided to make my fox friend a little den. I made sure it was nice and cozy for him. Oh, I think he likes it. Thank you. It looks amazing. With that done, I added some finishing touches to my house and ta-da! The not so hidden village next to a river has been founded. The next day, I explored the forest to check out my surroundings. It feels like such a peaceful place. That was until a strong looking ninja approached me. Oh, you're approaching me. Wait, that's the wrong series. Naruto, are you okay? I heard you and Sasuke fought. Wait, you know me? I'm sorry, I'm having a hard time remembering stuff. Kakashi explained everything. He told me about Sasuke and Team 7. He also warned me to stay away from Sasuke for now. So, Kakashi-sensei, maybe you can help me train. I don't want to lose to Sasuke again. I'll help you, Naruto. But first, I need you to do a few errands for me. Let's start off with something simple. Get some iron and make yourself some shuriken. I'll come find you when you're done. And just like that, Kakashi disappeared. Whoa, ninjas are so cool. During days 8 to 10, I went underground to do some mining. I collected a lot of iron and some coal. It was all going smoothly until a horde of sound ninjas attacked me. They must have tracked me here. I was severely outnumbered. I tried holding them back, but it wasn't easy. They surrounded me. With some quick thinking and a bit of struggling, I managed to win. Now, let's head home and make some shuriken. Back at base, I upgraded my stone tools to iron. And then I made some shuriken like Kakashi asked. I better try using these. I practiced throwing shuriken at a tree and it turns out I'm pretty good at it. You made some shuriken. Well done. Kakashi sensei, you snuck up on me. So what's my next errand? Next, I need you to go to a nearby village and pick up a book for me. And will this book help with my training? Uh, yes, yes. It's vital for your training. It sounded a bit suspicious. How is this book going to help me? Oh well, I set off for the village. But when I arrived, it was already under attack. Sound ninjas. Oh no, not again. The sound ninjas had one of the villagers trapped in a cage. I better help him. I used my shuriken to sneakily pick them off and then rushed to help the villager. Hold on for just one second. I'll get you out of there. Save yourself, kid. It's too late for me. Hand over the villager. Unless you want to die. Who are you? Zabaza, the demon of the hidden mist was after the villager. I'm sorry, but I can't let you have him. Take this. Zabaza was far too strong for me. My shuriken didn't affect him at all. And if he gets too close, I'll be a goner. I tried to wear him out, but he started using the water gun ninjutsu. Nope, 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 nope. I gotta get out of here while I still can. I headed back home on days 11 to 13. I felt bad for failing to save the villager. On my way home, I found some animals. Maybe some new friends will cheer me up. So I led them back to my base and made them a little pen. These animals will need some food as well. So I made a small wheat farm next to the river. Now I've got a great source of wool, leather and food. Using some of the wool, I made a little bed for my fox friend. Your owner never told me your name. So I think I'm going to name you... 
Kevin. That's not my name. That's the spirit, little guy. Later on, I went out to look for Kakashi-sensei, and I told him what happened in the village. You made the right call, Naruto. There are some really dangerous shinobi out there. That's why starting now, we'll begin your training. Awesome! I can't wait to learn some crazy jutsu. First, I want you to try and take this bell from me. You'll have to get serious if you want to succeed. This feels really familiar. Have I done this before? Uh, anyway, I've got to get that bell. Every time I got close, Kakashi quickly knocked me back. I needed to find an opening, but after a whole day of trying, I still couldn't grab the bell. I took cover behind a tree, and that's when a memory popped into my head. Multi Shadow Clone Jutsu! Shadow Clones, that's right! I could use the Shadow Clone Jutsu to help me get the bell. I ran at Kakashi with my Shadow Clone. This time I'll grab it for sure. But Kakashi quickly overpowered the Shadow Clone and me. Ooh. Fine, Sensei. You win this time. That may be so, but this training session worked better than I had hoped. On days 14 to 16, I went to gather more resources. I needed more iron for shuriken and kunai, so I stopped by a few caves and mined as much as I could. While searching for a new cave, I found an old guy being chased by sound ninjas. I better help him. I ran in and attacked the horde of sound ninjas. I used my shuriken and shadow clones to weaken them. As always, I was seriously outnumbered, but I'm much stronger than I was when I first fought them. Let's end this. Multi shadow clone jutsu. And just like that, the sound ninjas were defeated. Are you okay, Gramps? Ah, oh, thank you, young shinobi. You saved me. Ah, uh, don't worry about it, Gramps. Why were those sound ninjas after you? I'm not too sure. My village was attacked and they chased me all the way here. Would you mind escorting me back home? I'll treat you to some ramen. Me and Gramps headed back to his village, but it was burned to a crisp. What are those sound ninjas up to? Naruto, here, try this. Oh my god, this tastes amazing. Gramps, you've got to come back to my village. I'll build you a ramen shop. The old man agreed and we began the journey back to my base. Along the way, we stopped to collect some materials. I want to make sure my new friend has a cozy place to live. During days 17 to 19, I worked on making Gramps the best ramen shop possible. I get the feeling that this building is going to be the most important building in my village. It used up a lot of my materials to build, so I headed out to a nearby cave to do some mining. That's when I spotted Sasuke and... Who's that? Ovichi Maru. Something's wrong. My head, it... <laughs> what have you done to me? I gave you power, Sasuke. We need to continue your training so you can harness your true potential. Lord Orochimaru, we await your orders. I need more test subjects. Spread out and search all of the nearby villages. He's experimenting on villagers? That's so messed up. Also, deal with that useless insect over there. Sasuke, we're leaving. The sound ninjas already have me surrounded. Guess I've got no choice but to fight. I used my shadow clones and launched a volley of shuriken at the sound ninjas. I was holding my own, but they just kept coming. They're pushing me back. Don't worry, Naruto. I'm here to help. What? Kevin knows how to use shuriken jutsu? What the heck? Kevin, you're a ninja fox. Together, Kevin and I finished off the sound ninjas. Great work, buddy. Days 20 to 22, I hung out at the ramen shop. I love visiting this place in between missions. While enjoying my ramen, Gramps told me he heard a rumor that a shinobi with a big sword has been spotted pretty close to our village. It might be Zabuza. I'll be able to have a rematch against the demon of the hidden mist. Before I set out to look for him, Kevin stopped me. Come check this out before you head out. It looks like Kevin's been busy. I think he's trying to tell us something. 93.3% of viewers aren't subscribed. That's not very Date Bio. What was that, Kevin? I said let's train before you deal with Zabuza. Take these, Kunai. Kevin showed me some pretty awesome shuriken jutsu, and we spent the whole day training. I feel much stronger now. Whoa, I've got 20 hearts now as well. Thank you, Kevin. Here, take this Fuma Shiruken as well. You'll know what to do with it. Now that I'm ready, I set out and found a good place to hide. I'll ambush Zabuza and catch him off guard. I waited there a little while until he showed up. Let's see how you handled this. Fuma Shuriken. Take this. Go, Kunai. Zabuza is going to be a tough opponent. Even my amazing sneak attack didn't phase him. He summoned a water clone. It's now two versus one. But thanks to Kevin, my skills with kunai and shuriken had leveled up. I kept my distance and used my ninja tools to defeat his water clone. Wait a minute, I have shadow clones as well. Now the odds are slightly more even. The fight was still intense though. His sword really hurts. Eventually, his water clone managed to push me back. Before I could beat it, Zabuza managed to slip away. Take this. Ah, he got away. 
I guess I should head back home. On days 23 to 26, I made my way home. Kevin was super happy to see me back in one piece. Ugh, Naruto! I'm glad you're back. Kakashi stopped by and left you a note. Oh, it looks like Kakashi-sensei wants to carry on with my training. Kevin, look after the village while I'm gone. I rushed out to find sensei, but where is he? <clears throat> Up here, Naruto. He was on top of the forest? Sensei, what are we going to do today? Today we're going to learn how to dodge. Huh? Kakashi started launching a barrage of shuriken at me. Ow, 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 Sensei, isn't this too much? Let me demonstrate. Try throwing some shuriken at me. Don't blame me if you get hurt. Huh? Where did he go? Ahem. <clears throat> Sensei, you've got to stop sneaking up on me. I definitely want to learn that jutsu, though. We spent a bit more time training. It was a really painful training session. But after a little while, I learned how to use a substitution jutsu. This will definitely help keep me safe in the future. Days 27 to 29, I was back at base hanging with Kevin and eating some ramen. During the night, I had this strange dream. Where am I? What's this overwhelming chakra that I feel? There was a giant nine-tailed fox locked away in front of me. Where the heck am I? I'm impressed that you made your way here. Remove this seal and I'll grant you unimaginable power. Um, I'm actually okay. You stay put, okay? That was a pretty intense dream. Lucky for me, I could take my mind off it when Tenten showed up at my base. Naruto, are you still using regular kunai? I can teach you how to make explosive kunai in exchange for some gold. Do we have a deal? Whoa, those look awesome. I do like explosions. It's a deal. Before I head out to look for gold, I made myself a new pickaxe and some more kunai. I then headed underground and found a decent amount of gold. I also mined up some iron. I need a lot of iron to make my ninja tools. That's when I spotted someone that looks kind of like an older Sasuke. Oh my god, why does everyone in this family hate me? He's an opponent that I definitely can't beat. Guess it's time for my escape. Whoa, this substitution jutsu is amazing. On days 30 to 33, I arrived back at base and smelted the gold I collected. I gave it to Ten Ten and she taught me how to make explosive kunai. She also gave me a few materials so I could craft my first batch. I'll test these out a bit later on. But first, I want to build Ten Ten a ninja tool shop so she can stay here. Our little base is really starting to expand into a lovely village. Ah, this looks great! Thanks, Naruto! Days 34 to 36, I searched for Kakashi Sensei so I could continue my training. Along the way, I found Sasuke and some weird looking white guy. I better be sneaky. Maybe I can hear what they're talking about. Where? Where's my brother? Itachi's busy right now. Tell me! I can give you a hint. <laughs> Something seems really wrong with Sasuke. I need to avoid him for now. I better just sneak away and continue looking for Kakashi. After a little run, I eventually found him. He told me all about the Akatsuki. The white guy is apparently a member of their organization. The Akatsuki are trying to capture all of the Jinchuriki, and it turns out that I'm a Jinchuriki? Wait, that nine-tailed fox is inside me? That's all kinds of messed up. It's not safe for you here, Naruto. You should look for Jiraiya and continue your training. Kakashi also warned me to be wary of Sasuke. He's acting really strange. This world is just getting more dangerous every day. On days 37 to 40, I made my way to a nearby village and found Jiraiya. Wait. What's he doing? Ah, oh, he's spying on a bathhouse. Is this the right guy? Naruto, over here. Shh, keep it down. I explained everything to Jiraiya, about how I have a lot of gaps in my memory, and everything Kakashi told me so far. Hmm, so you don't remember anything I taught you. Hey, perverts! Before Jiraiya could finish, we got chased away from the bathhouse. Let's run! Once we managed to get away, Jiraiya agreed to train me and we got started straight away. He wanted me to improve my chakra control, so he had me walk on water. After this, Jiraiya showed me a technique called Rasengan. This technique feels familiar and it looks super powerful. Jiraiya told me that I need to practice breaking water balloons with my chakra to learn this technique. It took me a little while to get used to it, but I eventually could break the balloons easily. After that, I could form a Rasengan with no problems. Rasengan! Excellent work, Naruto. Now I'll be able to handle those Akatsuki guys no problem. Don't get involved with the Akatsuki, Naruto. I've been following their movements, 
They're too much for you to handle right now. I agreed with Jiraiya and we said our farewells for now. I gotta head home and see how Kevin's doing. Days 41 to 43, I made it back home, but something doesn't feel right. It seems way too quiet here. Ramps came running up to me and explained that the Akatsuki came here while I was away. They took Kevin? I went to check his den and he was gone. There was just a map and a note there instead. We've got your friend. Follow the map if you want to see him again. I had no choice but to do as the note said. Even though Jiraiya warned me to stay away from them, I have to save Kevin. I sprinted there as fast as I could. This is the place. I headed inside and saw an Akatsuki member standing there menacingly. Where's Kevin? I walked right into a trap. There was another Akatsuki member behind me as well. I was furious. Kevin, where are you? I felt the Nine Tails Chakra split up inside me. I gave in to my anger and lost control. The rest is kind of a blur. Did I win? Naruto, hold on. Ugh. We're getting out of here. I woke up on days 44 to 48 and got scolded by Jiraiya. He was right to be mad at me, but I just wanted to save my friend. I explained the situation and he told me that I shouldn't chase after them until I got stronger. I felt pretty deflated. My best friend was missing and I was overwhelmed in my last fight. I decided to head underground to look for some diamonds. I spent a while down there mining until I could make myself a full set of diamond tools and armor. Back at base, I stopped by the ramen shop to get some food, when suddenly a group of sound ninjas snuck up on me. Orochimaru must have sent them to stop me interfering with Sasuke. Using my Rasengan and Shadow Clone techniques, I was able to fight back the horde of sound ninjas. It was a long fight, but I successfully defended my village. I spent days 49 to 51 training. I wanted to make my Rasengan stronger, so I tried training the way Jiraiya Sensei taught me. After running on water for a bit, I tried adding more power to my Rasengan. It was a bit dangerous, but eventually, after plenty of failed attempts, I made my Rasengan even more destructive. Lucky for me, that strange looking white guy was close by, so I could test out my new technique. I spent the rest of the night blowing away a bunch of white Zetsus. On days 52 to 55, Jiraiya was happy with my progress and agreed to help me rescue Kevin. He said that this time would go in with a solid plan and save my friend no matter what. Before we go, let me strengthen your seal. We need to suppress the Nine Tails Chakra. Now let's go save our friend. Jiraiya also warned me to keep my anger in check. We didn't want a repeat of last time. After a bit of traveling, we made it back to the cave. I went in first, and just like last time, both Akatsuki members surrounded me. But this time, Jiraiya swooped in and caught Daedara by surprise. He managed to force Daedara away, leaving me to deal with Sasori. Sasori fought using a puppet and kept his distance from me. I used my ninja tools and Rasengan to fight against his creepy muppet. I eventually destroyed it, and then it was time to fight Sasori. It was still a tough battle, but I started to wear him down. Hey, Muppet Boy, let's see how you handle my new technique. Giant Rasengan! I did it! I managed to beat an Akatsuki member by myself! Naruto! I found Kevin! Let's get out of here, quick! We were all reunited again. It looks like our plan worked flawlessly. Until suddenly a bunch of Akatsuki members appeared, and one of them was menacingly floating? We need to get out of here quick! Let's run! Wait, where's Jiraiya? I'll hold them off. Get away from here, Naruto! No! Jiraiya! I'll help you! Before I could do anything, Jiraiya used the jutsu to seal off the cave. Me and Kevin ran as fast as we could. Jiraiya saved us by sacrificing himself. What a bittersweet end to our mission. Days 56 to 58, me and Kevin made it back home. I felt utterly defeated. I'm glad we managed to save Kevin, but losing Jiraiya took its toll on me. I made him a grave by my base and paid my respects to my incredible master. I moped around my base for a while until Kevin came to cheer me up. I need to get stronger. I can't risk losing anyone else. That rage you feel, let it consume you. I can make you stronger. I woke up on days 59 to 61, determined to become stronger. So I said farewell to all of my friends and went out to look for Kakashi Sensei. After a little journey, I found Kakashi training by a waterfall. I told him everything that happened and begged him to make me stronger. He agreed and he taught me about chakra natures. It turns out my nature is wind. 
To get used to using my wind nature, I had to cut leaves with my chakra. I used a ridiculous amount of shadow clones to speed up my training. And after that, I had to use my chakra to stop the waterfall from flowing. At first, I could only stop it briefly. And then after a long night, I could completely stop the flow of water. My training was successful. I even created a brand new technique, Resend Shuriken. I was heading home on days 62 to 65 when I got intercepted by an Akatsuki member. This is the perfect opportunity for me to test out my Resend Shuriken. Kakasu had four weird mask creatures with him and he was extremely strong. Is he immortal or something? Maybe I need to defeat those strange mask creatures first. I focused on those strange creatures and managed to defeat two of them quickly with my giant Resend gun. I used my Resend Shuriken to finish off another one and that made Kakazu furious. The last mask creature also suffered the same fate. Once it died, so did Kakazu. That's a few Akatsuki members defeated already. My training has really paid off. I better head back home and make sure everyone is all right. Back at home on days 66 to 69, I visited all of my friends and ate some ramen to celebrate another enemy defeated. In the evening, I stopped by Jiraiya's grave and I told him what happened. I really wish he could see me now. Later that night, I dreamt of the Nine Towers again. He asked me to remove his seal so he could grant me incredible power. No, I can do this on my own. <laughs> You'll never defeat Sasuke. You're too weak. Help me. Please help. Before I could respond to the Nine Tails, I woke up and heard a villager shouting for help. My village is under attack. These strange white things appeared out of nowhere. That sounds like White Zetsu. I'll help you. Just show me the way to your village. The villager led me back to his village, and there was a swarm of White Zetsus. His home was destroyed, but it looks like all of the villagers managed to hide in a nearby jungle. Dealing with the Zetsu army wasn't a problem. I was much stronger than when I started this adventure. I used my giant Rasen gun to blast a few of them away, and after a lengthy battle, I managed to defeat the last Zetsu. The villagers were happy to be saved, and I promised them that I would repair their village. After a bit of manual labor and a clever use of shadow clones, the village was as good as new. The the villagers thanked me and gave me some diamonds for saving their lives. The town's craftsman asked if he could come and live at my base. He offered to enchant my equipment for me in exchange for a place to live. I happily accepted. On our way home, we were stopped by another Akatsuki member. He was there the day Jiraiya sacrificed himself. I told the craftsman to hide and attacked Pain. He was a tough opponent and my techniques didn't work on him. He just absorbed them. I was forced to rely on my Taijutsu and Shuriken Jutsu. But would that truly be enough? Huh? What's happening? Pain used planetary devastation. This doesn't look good. That's when Kakashi joined the battle. He caught Pain off guard and I was freed from my spherical prison. Naruto, we'll fight him together. Me and Kakashi managed to overpower Pain together and eventually we beat him. On day 70 to 72, I made our new craftsman an epic workshop on the river. Now he has the perfect place to enchant my diamond armor with protection and unbreaking. With these enchants, I just got a little stronger. Naruto, one of the white zetsus dropped this map the other night. They said it leads to Atachi. I'm not sure if that's helpful to you, but I thought you should know. This could be another trap but I'll have to investigate it for myself. For now, let's celebrate our new friend joining our village by eating some ramen. The next day, I headed out to look for Itachi. I said farewell to everyone in the village, but Kevin was worried. Be careful, Naruto. I'll make sure I get back here safe and sound, little guy. Don't you worry. It took me a little while to reach my destination. Why do these bad guys always have to be so far away? According to the map, Itachi should be inside that building up there. I finally got to the top, but one of the Akatsuki members is blocking my way. Both him and Itachi were in the cave on that fateful day. Itachi asked me not to let anyone get in the way of his family reunion. What? Sasuke's in there as well? I guess I've got no choice but to fight the Shark Man. His chakra feels immense and that sword looks like a problem. I'll just have to hit him with my strongest technique, Rasen Shuriken. Oh no. His sword absorbed my technique. I better not get hit by that thing. It looks like it can absorb chakra. If I attack quickly, I can still hit him with my Rasengan. Oh no, his sword drained some of my chakra. He's backed me into a corner. This might be the end. Leave him alone! Kevin? He must have followed me here. Be careful, he's a strong shinobi. 
Kevin, no! The Nine Towers Chakra overflowed again. How dare he hurt my friend? I caught him off guard and completely destroyed him with my Beast Ball Blast. But I completely lost control. Kevin wasn't scared of me though. He managed to calm me down by strengthening my seal. How the heck does Kevin know such an advanced technique? I'm a strong shinobi. Well, now that Kisame has gone, we can check inside. Ah, Sasuke seems to be gone. He left a note. Naruto, stop following me or you'll end up like my brother. On day 77 to 79, me and Kevin made our way back to our base. We needed to recover our strength after that last battle. While resting, Kakashi paid us a visit. I filled him in on everything that happened and he suggested that I start learning how to harness the Nine Towers power. Unfortunately, I won't be able to help you with this. How can I harness the power of the Nine Towers without losing control? Have you tried talking to the Nine Towers? Talk to the Nine Towers? I guess that could work. I decided to meditate until I eventually arrived in front of the Nine Towers once again. Yo, Nine Towers, how about me and you have a little chat? Of course, the Demon Fox wasn't willing to lend me his power, but he did offer me a little challenge. Remove the seal. If you can defeat me, I'll listen to your request. At this point, what do I have to lose? I removed his seal and prepared myself for a tough fight. The Nine Towers is really strong, but I've got to win. My Rasengan wasn't going to be strong enough for the Towed Beast either. Even my Rasengan Shuriken won't be enough. After a hectic battle, I managed to push the fox back. It's time for my final attack. Super Giant Rasengan. Take that, you overgrown fox. I managed to beat the Nine Towers, and it turns out that he actually has a name. This is the beginning of a beautiful friendship between me and Kuruma. I started learning how to control Kuruma's chakra on days 80 to 82. He wasn't the nicest teacher though. Idiot, you'll never beat Sasuke like this. But at least I didn't have to go through this experience alone. Syncing up with Kuruma was really tough and I failed many times. Ooh. Focus, you can do this. A few more failed attempts later and I did it. Kuruma mode. Oh my god, this is amazing. Ooh. Days 83 to 86, Orochimaru paid my village a visit, and he brought an army of sound ninjas. They're destroying my little village. The sound ninjas are easy to deal with, but Orochimaru is insanely strong. Now would be a great time for me and Kuruma to sync up, but it's too risky to try. Orochimaru is recovering too quickly, and he's pushing me back. Naruto, I'm here to back you up. With the power of friendship, we can do it. Ugh! Kevin! Don't worry, buddy. I'll protect you. Orochimaru's attacks are too strong. It looks like this will be the end. Hey, snap out of it. Let's do this together. Kuruma's right. Let's do this together. With Kuruma mode activated, I felt a lot stronger and then pushed Orochimaru back. I don't know how much longer I can stay in this form, so I need to give it my all. Take this and this and this. Get out of here, you filthy snake. Orochimaru ended up retreating just in the nick of time. That power up was really draining. Kevin, hold on, buddy. Let's get you healed up. After putting Kevin in bed to rest up, I started repairing the damage done to my village. By the end of day 90, our home was basically as good as new. Days 91 to 95, Kuruma suggested I head somewhere secluded to continue my training. I can easily enter Kuruma mode now. It's amazing. I'm so fast. The power up works amazing with my super giant Rasengan as well. I carried on like this for a while until Kuruma stopped me. It's time you learned how to use the ultimate technique of a tailed beast. The Tailed Beast Bomb. This technique takes insane chakra control, and it's hard to form the correct ratio of positive and negative chakra. Many explosions later, and I successfully formed a Beast Ball. We're really starting to work in sync. Hey, Kuruma. I returned home the next day, but something was wrong. Where is everyone? There's bloodstains on the floor. What happened here? I followed the bloodstains and found a note. Naruto, it's time to end this. Meet me where it all began if you want to see your friends again. Sasuke. He took everything from me, but something feels wrong. Sasuke wouldn't do this. I rushed to the Valley of the End. I have to save my friends and find out the truth. Oh, I'm not too late. They're all still alive. Guys, hold on. I'll get you out of there. Wait a minute. That's the Evoker King. How did he get here? I haven't seen him since that time I became a Demon Slayer. Finally. I can get my revenge. This time you don't stand a chance against my puppet. Sasuke, 
Bring me his head. <laughs> Naruto, I'm sorry. I can't control myself. I don't have time to think. What is the Evoker King doing here? Did he send me here? How did he follow me to a different universe? Ugh, I've got to focus on the fight, otherwise it really will end here. Sasuke's really fast, and his fireball jutsu is a serious problem, but I can handle him so far. Take this! Huh? He can teleport? You've got to be kidding me. We were pretty evenly matched until Sasuke used his Susano. Oh, that's not good. Hey, focus. We can do this together. Okay, Kuruma. I trust you. Let's show him our ninja way. Ah, this fight is ridiculous. Sasuke, snap out of it. Don't let the Evoker King control you. I can't. It looks like this will be Sasuke's last attack. Kuruma, let's use it. Beast Bomb Rasengan. Naruto? Where's Naruto? Ah, what's happening what's to me? Happening? I'm falling. Where am it's I? Empty. Who am I? Make it stop. Huh? Where am I? What am I wearing? If you enjoyed this video, make sure you check out my Pixelmon 100 Days next.